I'm Andrew Yenner, Director of Lincoln Simmons Blacktown, and we have here Chris. Uh, Chris is from Carbon Financial, so thank you for joining us, Chris. No problem, Andrew. Thank, thank you for having me. No, it's always a pleasure. All right, so basically, we're doing this video to talk a little bit about the, uh, the lending climate and sort of what's happening out there and why a lot of our clients are using Chris and his services and uh, how they're getting value out of that. So let, let's get into it. So first of all, Chris, could you just give us just a, I guess, a, a quick summary of your background and sort of, and particularly what you do here with us? Okay, look, I'm a mortgage broker. Um, obviously, I help Andrew and his team with their clients in terms of obtaining um, home loans uh, for their first home buyers, for people who are looking to upgrade and downgrade and you know people like, look, that are buying investments. So, um, you know, basically it's to help them facilitate their sale and also their, their purchases. And um, you know, we work as a good team and I really enjoy working with Lang Simmons. Yeah, yep. And, and we found it really good as well, guys. Like, from our point of view, you know, whether we're selling properties to you or managing properties for you, or we've known you for a long time and you're part of our network, we really like to have the the, the ability to have real people here that we can deal with uh, uh, live, and, and then that way we know everything about what's going on in the marketplace, and we can deliver fast results for you and, and basically get you the best deals. That's what this is all about. That's what this relationship's about. It's for you guys. So, uh, just tell us, Chris, a little bit about the, the lending climate. What's going on out there with the lending and the banks and everything? Yeah, sure. Well, at the moment, like you can hear from the news, there's a lot of activity at the moment, especially in purchasing homes, especially for first home buyers. Um, you know, interest rates that are at all time low at the moment, um, below 2%. So, people are trying to capitalize on that market. Um, one is also, you know, getting equity release for their current properties. and buying investment properties and also maybe you know selling their homes and then upgrading to buy a bigger home while the interest rates are so low um you know and also the banks have reduced their assessment criteria um it's not the easiest way but it's still very competitive and you know the banks are a little bit more um aligned to helping everyone in this day and like you know you have your majors but you also have your other lenders that specialize for people who need uh, further assistance to get into the property market or to you know expand their property portfolios you know and um you know there's a lot of talk about um property values increasing you know and you know there's the news like cba came out and saying that they're going to have 16 percent growth in the next 12 months and then you've got other people saying that it's going to be like a 30 percent growth in the next three years so you know you've got to try and probably get yourself into the market now and capitalize on you know where the property market values are sitting so you know it puts you in good stead in the next 12 to you know 36 months yeah yeah no yeah, i totally agree so all right and um obviously for us at lang and simmons we come ac across a lot of young first home buyers mm -hmm. uh people that are currently renting or people that, that are currently living at home with mum and dad and they, they want to get started sure. um how are you able to help you know the, the young ones get started look i think um the young one was you know, for the first home buyers, we try and get them um, pre-assessed beforehand, um, see what their capacity is to borrow and what kind of deposit they have to get them into their first property, you know? Yeah. And, and it's always good to have pre-approved because, you know, I know your staff go into the open homes and, you know, some of them don't even have um, pre-approved. Yeah, so true. So we had one first home buyers, they came in and they said, oh, and they rang me on a Saturday night saying, Chris, can you just quickly work out what I've got to, you know, to borrow up and borrow up to so I can make an offer to one of your sales staff to, you know, confirm that offer. And, um, you know, luckily I was in the office at that time on a Saturday afternoon and I was able to do the calculations and look and help them make an offer and the offer was accepted, you know. Okay. So um, I think for first home buyers, it's always good to be prepared before you start looking so you know exactly what your limitations are. Yeah, th th there's a nice uh, uh, saying or th that I heard a couple of years ago, Chris, and I just want to share it with everyone. Not speaking to a mortgage broker and not getting your pre-approval is almost, uh, 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 sorry to say it, but it's almost as silly as um, going shopping and filling up your trolley, but you've got no idea how much money you've got in, in your bank. Correct. You know, so, so guys, rather than going out and looking at open homes and going to properties and making offers and all those things, why don't you have a talk to Chris, get your pre-approval in place, 
have it all ready to go. That way, number one and most importantly, you know what your limits are. Yeah, we want you to stick within your limits. But number two, we want you to be in a position that Chris has your approval ready that if you find a property you really like, you, you, you know, you can pounce on the opportunity because particularly in this climate, Chris, the properties are not remaining. So you need to be ready. You know, and that's very, very important. Um, and, and I've seen Chris actually doing another thing as well, which I was really impressed with. If the client has the ability to be pre-approved and ready to go now, he's able to obviously get that up and running. If the client needs to save a little bit of money or what have you, I've seen him putting in place plans with them. It's really, really impressive. I've heard it where, where they're putting in place uh, plans and goals and time frames on, on, on what the person needs to do so that it may not be an immediate thing it might be in three months it might be in six sure. months it might be in 12 mm. but sure. I, I love that I, I think it's fantastic it's something uh, unfortunately a lot of banks and brokers will not do if they can't do business with you straight away they don't want to do business with you Chris on the other hand is prepared to be with you for the long haul he's here with us for the long haul and he's here for you for the long haul all right, um, and with regards to people that are upgrading something bigger, downgrading or moving areas, I'm assuming similar would apply to them? 100%, and it's really good time for them now to get their property revalued um, because of the property market, the property price is increasing. So they're, they're able to obtain you know, equity releases on their home to buy a bigger property, or you know, they're looking at selling it now while the prices are good and then buying something at the, you know, yeah. Um, something they're looking for for upgrading and people downgrading you know people are closer to retirement they've got a big home so they're selling at a good price and then they're buying something out right from the sale you know so i think it's a really good time to yeah. get into the market once again we're coming back to two key two key things guys one is having one of my agents doing even a desktop or a walkthrough appraisal very very important to know what your property is worth if you're looking at uh, upgrading, downgrading, or moving areas. And two is, again, back to Chris, just making sure that, you know, if, if we were to sell it for X, uh, uh, and we've also got a, uh, a pre-approval in place, we know what we can and can't do. All right, um, and, and also what about the investors and the landlords out there? Yeah, look, they're very busy at the moment um, because, you know, if you look at what interest rates are available, you're finding that the interest rates for investors, especially the fixed rates, are quite low. Yeah. Um, they're like 2.59%, um, two to three year fixed, and that's with interest only repayments. So like, you know, people look at that and go, wow, look, you know, if I get, a, if I get an uh, um, investment property now, I'm gonna really reduce my um, repayments on that and then capitalize on that. And then, you know, people are buying one, two, all in, all in the same year because they're trying to capitalize on the, this market. Yeah. while they got it and the equity piece is, is there and you know a lot of the people are just expanding their property portfolios at the moment while the, while the cost of loans are very very low yeah and, and look i just want to share with you a little um a little investment strategy that i picked up on personally and something that i use with my family is i was always taught that you buy your first property hopefully that goes up in value you get it revalued you go and see someone like chris and with that equity, you can then go buy another one. They go up in value, the two of them. You get more equity again, and you keep going. That that is again, we're not financial planners. You know, if, if, if we always recommend speak to a financial planner for financial advice. But at the same time, I'm letting you know that's what I've done. It's worked very well with me. I know Chris has got a couple of properties as well, and lots of our successful clients who have built portfolios and are building towards wealth in retirement have done that. So I'll leave that with you, speak to the financial planners, but we have the mortgage broker here, it's someone we know, someone we trust, and lots of our clients are successfully using Chris already, so why don't you have a talk to Chris as well. If you wanna have a talk to Chris, you can call us any day of the week on 9678 9678-1666. Uh, ask for Chris, Chris the mortgage broker, uh, if for whatever reason you, you need something quicker, you can call me directly on 0432 447788, 0432 447788, and I'll be sure to put you on, Chris. Chris, thanks for your time, man. Well, thank you, Andrew. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure.